Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest charting techniques for your company dashboards. Okay, today we're going to show you how to do custom markers. Um, I've created this chart here and uh, I've got the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom uh, plotted on the chart for their GDP per capita for 2011. I've added labels uh, so you can see which point is what, but uh, uh, we can make this more interesting and have uh, your clients see the data more effectively and quickly. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, let's go to another page here. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and create the chart. And I'm going to do uh, Insert Menu, Scatter Chart, and I'm going to choose a scatter with only markers. So let's go ahead and create that chart and move it over here so you can see it a little better. I'm going to go ahead and delete the axis, uh, the horizontal axis. Don't really need it. Also, I don't need a legend as we're going to have that included in the chart itself. Uh, and I'm going to make the title equal to uh, what I have listed as my title out on the web page, um, the Excel spreadsheet, I should say. So let me go ahead and add. Uh, so I'm going to go up to the layout menu and add some data labels. So first I've clicked on the chart, gone to the layout menu, data labels, and I'm going to click on above. Uh, now I'm going to click on these and go up to my layout menu, format selection, and I change this to the X values instead of the Y values. Uh, so now you see I've got the chart as I had it before, United States, Canada, United Kingdom. Uh, but I've also, as you noticed over here, included the flags for each country. These I just uh, cut and paste uh, from a drawing program into uh, the Excel spreadsheet, and it is an image now, so that when you click on it, you'll see you have format tools that you can do other things with those images. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is we can replace each one of these standard markers uh, with a custom marker. So let me click on the United States flag. I'm going to go up to my copy uh, button. I'm going to click in the chart and I'm going to click on the series. Now you see it's highlighted all data points for the series. What I want to do is click one more time on just the United States and you see it's just the data point now is all that I have selected. And I'm going to go up to my home menu again and hit paste. And you can see it's put in the United States flag there. Uh, I can click on the Union Jack and copy that for the United Kingdom. Click on the chart click on the series and then click once again on the individual data point. Now if I do not do that, let's show you what happens when you do Canada. Copy Canada, selected the chart. If you hit paste, you see it changes every data point to the Canada flag uh, if I do not select the individual data point by clicking on it a second time. Let's go ahead and paste Canada in there. So you can uh, uh, see we've got custom markers. You can do any image that you can paste into your Excel spreadsheet. You can also create shapes within Excel uh, and paste those in the same fashion as well. So let's uh, go ahead and select the chart, or I'm sorry, select the worksheet, go up to the insert menu, and you see in illustrations group we have shapes as a menu choice. I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to click on uh, the down arrow in the block arrows and the up arrow. So let's click on the up arrow first and I'm going to make an arrow and I'm going to do control 1 to format the shape. I'm going to change the color to green and I'm going to get rid of the line color so it has no line color. And then we're going to do the same thing and go up and uh, click in the worksheet to insert shapes, block arrows, the down arrow and uh, we're going to make that shape there as well. Let's change the down arrow to red and give it the line color as well. You can see, uh, let's just make it a little fatter for the red one. Uh, we've got an up and down arrows now. So if I click on the green arrow, I can copy it. Let's say the United States is going up, so I'm going to just check, click on that data point and paste. Uh, and let's copy the red arrow and do the United Kingdom. And uh, let's go ahead and, and click on green and make Canada green. And so now you can see we've got up green arrows and down for red arrows. So you can change those uh, as you wish throughout your chart and 
that now you know how to create custom markers for your Excel dashboard templates and uh, makes it so that your charts can be more readable. Let me get rid of the actual labels here and see so you, you automatically know that's the United States, Canada, and Great Britain or the United Kingdom. So uh, that's how you can create this in Excel. So uh, please visit our website at excel-boardtemplates.com for our latest posting on creating uh, the best Excel dashboard templates. Thank you.